filming with my cell phone because I have, I, it's stinking hot. And I just uh, put a window air conditioner plus everything else on here. I got these cables running just because I wanted to deplete, deplete this battery. So just while I'm in here, it's hooked up. I think I'll unhook it soon, but there's our voltage. And yeah, power wall. Plus this one just for now because it was fully charged. It was too charged. I didn't want it sitting like that in the heat. Just charging a little bit. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Great. So, working still on the power wall. The main system. I don't have the main wires running into the house yet. So I might as well not even touch this system. The batteries are just sitting at 50.8 volts. I need to, to charge them get them back up in voltage because I used some power and I haven't charged them yet but <coughs> anyways getting ready to uh, get rid of these they've been doing okay um, like right now they're doing really good let's see 180 on that one 100 on that one 69 nope 60 on that one um, they work really good most of the time sometimes I find if the morning starts cloudy and stays cloudy for a long time and then say two o'clock it gets nice and sunny these won't uh, track properly and they get stuck uh, on not producing enough power so if it if it starts in the morning sunny they work great starts in the morning cloudy stays cloudy all day they work great but uh, yeah and that's to be expected these were twenty dollars each so like, what do you want? I can put 1,200 watts between the four for 60 bucks. Um, and they're super versatile. <clears throat> I can put this on pretty much any battery bank over 12 volts. <clears throat> so, but that's, this isn't what the video is about. Who cares about these anymore? Because I got my 150 up. I'm mounting it. I'm just connecting it to the batteries for now because right now the voltage on the solar panels are half the voltage of the batteries because these are boost uh, boost uh, charge controllers. So I got 31 volts going in and 58 going into the batteries. Um, I'm going to hook this up, try and set the voltage uh, for the range of these if I can figure it out. If not, I'm going to have the call tech support. And then... Then I'm going to rewire these solar panels in strings of three, so that'll give me about, let's see here, that's 120, 100, about 130 volts. That's right around where this thing likes to sit, I think. So, that's what we're going to do, and we're going to see how well that works. Just wanted to say one more thing, uh, thanks again Battery Experts Pickering <clears throat> for letting me test this unit. I think... Uh, they knew I needed something better, and they just wanted to give me a tease, so I'll buy it. Which is, it seems to be working. Anyways, thanks again anyways. Alright, time to set this thing up. Just put the cover on. It's only hooked to the batteries, it's not hooked to the solar. I'm not sure if I can get to that today or not, probably not, but I'm going to get this hopefully set up today. And, uh, yeah. Be excited. We got a midnight classic on the wall. This can do up to 96 amps. And I'm wondering if that's if this will actually do 96 amps at 66 volts full, uh, full charge. Because that's a lot of power. Got that set up for a custom voltage for this bank. That's crazy. It was so easy. I just set set uh, equal equalized charge to 66 volts. I set the um, what's it called? Absorb voltage to 66 volts, and I set the float voltage to 66 volts. I am not sure I, if there's anything else like that I have to change on this uh, to keep it from going to some other setting. But there's three settings I changed: all max 66 volts. That's what this battery bank is. So I'm gonna hook this up sometime under close supervision and monitor it and see what's going on. I'm sure this is going to put out quite a bit more power than these do. Quite a bit more. Just because I don't believe these track properly. 
Uh, they do a, a right job, but we'll see because these together on a bright, fully bright day was a real close to about 600 watts. So if we get quite a bit more out of this, I'll be very happy. And I got to remember, I'm running at a low panel voltage, only of 30 volts right now. It'll be going up to about 110 ish, 120 ish. And this reliable electric inverter has been amazing, guys. I'm really starting to like it. Um, it starts the vacuum every time. That's a huge surge for a 3000 watt inverter. Starts it every time, no problem. Runs my window, air conditioner. I don't know if it'll do them both at the same time. So I gotta be careful because, uh, yeah. Don't wanna, I don't want to fry it because it's a good inverter. I'm, I'm actually really liking it. And I'm liking the other one that's only 2000 watts as well. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey, check it out. 80 volts in, 116 watts, two amps. Going to the batteries, sun setting. Not a whole lot of power coming in. Got rid of those other controllers. This thing looks nice. It kind of matches the batteries nicely, but uh, just gotta organize stuff like this. But until I finish mounting all the batteries, I'm not going to change anything else. But I uh, got all of these to put on the wall somewhere. Might end up putting them here. I might even end up putting them there and then figuring out a different spot for this. But uh, not exactly sure. I actually might put them on this side and just extend this white portion all the way to here and just keep going this way. That would look nice as well. But I just went and checked on my solar panels and they are so dirty. I don't know how they're making power at all. So. I will be cleaning them. And I also got my 1500 watt buck converter. Going from 48 volts to, but it's now 57.8 volts. Going into here. So it is pumping out about 10 amps at 57.8 volts. So do the math, it's 778 watts. Something like that. Going into the batteries, I can go more, I can go quite a bit more. I can double that, I can go well over a thousand. But, my little generator only charges at 14 amps. So I don't want it to discharge my battery bank anymore. So I'm gonna run this for a bit. See how fast this charges the batteries. I gotta shut these lights off because these all are taking power from it. So I'm gonna go do that. But I'm very happy with this, this install here. Let's see if I can focus here. Wow, this thing does, this isn't my cell phone. Sorry guys. There we go. Just takes a lot longer to focus than my Sony RX uh, 100 Mach 5. That's what it is. As you can see, it's not focused again. Now I gotta focus it. There we go. Sweet. Hopefully I got everything set up in this properly. I gotta go through the options and double check. But uh, everything seems to work really well. All right, so I'm in. So I'm gonna go back. Uh, I have no idea how to go back on this thing. Main menu. How do you go back? I don't even know. Uh, I don't know. What's that do? Nope. Oh, you hit this button. Okay, so I'm back. So I hit menu. I went into charge. Charge volts. And I have everything set to 66 volt. It's set for float at 65.9 volts. Which is good. Let's see here. Yeah, this, none of this matters because the way I went. Yep, that doesn't matter. Limits. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Let's see, output, amps, input, amps, output, amps. Minimum T comp max. What is this? Hmm. Oh, sorry, you can't see nothing. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what this is. I'm going to turn that down to 66. Just in case. So this is output amps, input amps, and all this stuff. I got all anything battery related, I'm just setting to 66 volts. I do not want anything going over 66 volts. Okay, batteries are charging, and I'll get back to you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm getting ready for my test tomorrow. Almost fully charged, I'm gonna get real close. I'm gonna be able to get fully charged and I'll discharge a little bit tonight, so it doesn't, if there's anything wrong, it doesn't overcharge by tomorrow morning. Everything's working well. This buck converter is working amazing for charging the batteries. It gets quite warm at about uh, 600 watts or so what I got going into it. It's quite warm, but it has a fan that turns on and off and it works just fine. Uh, we're getting charged. Batteries are sitting at about the same voltage just because, uh, well, they're, li they're actually 0.4 of a volt lower, but once this is charged, I'm gonna continue to charge the batteries for a bit, so anyways. Thanks for watching guys. I'll just show you over here the noisy generator. Good little generator though. Uh, I put, so 45 hours plus 17.4, that's what I put on it. So far, I rewired all the panels to be in th uh, two strings of three. Now I can't use that panel with this system until I get two more, which is okay. So I right now only have 1500 watts instead of uh, 1750 like I did before. Uh, I washed the solar panels. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Let's see here, if I'm tall enough. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice and washed. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I might have an update for you guys tomorrow morning. Ready early in the morning, I'm seeing a large gain on power. This is with 250 less watts. And we are charging like crazy. Looks like we've put already 0.8 of a kilowatt into the batteries. Awesome. The batteries were almost still fully charged this morning, but at 0.8 of a kilowatt. That's looking good. It's nice and sunny, but it's still early, so it's on a huge angle on the panels. But wow, that's a good improvement. Liking it a lot. 10 o'clock, and I got almost a thousand watts coming in out of 1500 watts, and these are flat panels. 85 volts on the panel side, 14.3 amps. That's crazy. Believe it or not, this uh, control is a little bit warm. I have it spaced away from the wall for cooling purposes but it looks like we're gonna hit full charge soon oops stupid camera this is my cell phone again wow I really like this thing thanks again battery experts for uh, letting me borrow this I am kind of falling in love with it so anyways thanks for watching okay so everything's working just fine it's limiting power to the batteries we got 1.2 kilowatts I already put in. That was only going from like 64 volts to 66 volts. That's cool. 
and everything's working great. And now I'm going to take my gel battery bank and we're gonna plug it in to here. Mm. Right now, go like this. Now it's in, it's inefficient, but it doesn't matter because I'm not using any power. So charge controller, power goes into the batteries, batteries convert it to AC, goes into the massive transformer, gets converted back into DC, charges the batteries. So everything seems to work nicely. I'm gonna leave it like this for a couple days and see how it works. I want these batteries to get a nice charge, heavy duty charge. So, as you can see, we're charging. Oops, you couldn't see. As you can see, we're charging. And we got almost full power again on the midnight because we were taking power from it. I want to focus. Sorry, it's not focusing here. There we go. All right, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed these uh, videos. Raining outside. And we're still making 99 watts. And that is off of 1500 watts of solar facing straight up. Working really good. I'm really liking the system. It fully charged my battery bank. Uh, now it's been sitting for a bit. But this is after it's been sitting for about a day. Let's see here. There we go. 51.2 volts just sitting there. System's coming together. I'm just waiting to get uh, the line to go into the house for this main system. But yeah, everything's working great. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so sitting in my house taking one point eight seven kilowatts of power got the computer on got a electric heater on here set to 20 degrees celsius because our house went down we had it set to hold at 18 it's a little cool uh, especially down on the lower levels it's warmer on the upper levels and we're pulling quite a bit of power let's get this focus There we go. Let's go see what our volts is doing. Alright. Almost fully charged. Keep an eye on this usage. Anyways, thanks for watching.